Hello and welcome. I will be showing you the code structure walkthrough for module 8 Nuke 3D Engine task. So as you can see, I'll let this load up. So it's going to check out, just make sure this ticked off. Okay, so I'm really hoping it's not like this for every single one. Well, it does matter. Okay, so as you can see, if I go through here, this is just a standard butterfly, but adding in the different functions, there's a crop, there is another crop, and with the crops, you can set a rotation with the cards. So all the cards is doing is rotating on a Y axis. So if I switch to that one as well, you can see the, the other wing is rotating, which then brings us onto our scene with the full butterfly rotating. We have our transform geode so that they are rotated. And we have our flat base card here. With our particle emitter shooting all of that information from card 1, card 2, 3, scene and transform. And by doing so, we also have our particle motion so that they go in a specific motion as well. You can see we've added some light tones. And over here we have our standard reformat, our radial, which is a form of light, our flare to add in a slightly alternative tinge, and our dissolve to make our radial and flare blend, with the blend mat doing those specific things that I was explaining before. So transform geode which is just connected into our particle system with a time offset of 30 frames. So they don't start coming out till it hits frame 30. And then that brings us on to our scene. So as you can see if I rotate this a specific way, that's our little, little creature. So we'll let this load up. So as you can see, very slowly, he digs in and the butterflies flow out. So with this, the reason why it looks like this is because it was originally a 2D image. So if we switch to our camera, we have the camera set in specific angle. So if we look through it, this is what we see. We have our scan line render, which sets our scene. So I'll take away the grid. why it's not a hundred percent loading it up but that's okay uh, doesn't matter so after our scan line render we have a unpremol and then a grade node and our grade node is to adjust the specific colors with the butterflies tinge we have a blur a merge stencil as well as our roto painting so what we've done with the roto painting is essentially as you can see where the bar cuts so we've cut it at this point so that when the butterflies come out as you will see if it loads Let's try and it 
adjust this a little bit. just want it to be our standard so if I switch to position to point you can see that we've got all this so showing our camera is angled to look at our little person we then apply the material fill the mat and then it writes it so let's hope it doesn't render out frame by frame so this one is a bit better but still doing the awkward right through thing it, so it does So we'll wait for this to do its right and then you can see so it's going frame by frame just so it can adjust every little thing but you can see that the tinges with our butterflies are different. We've added a blur node onto our butterflies as well. So as it goes through which shouldn't take too much longer you will see exactly how it looks all together. So slowly picking up. And I can bring this down a bit too while we wait. So that looks a lot nicer, so we'll just And this is it So this is our overall end product as you can see 